good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day you may be watching this. I hope this message finds you well. All right, let's uh, talk about something that's a little controversial. Well, I think a lot of the things that I've talked about can be a little controversial, <laughs> but um, let's talk about burning sage and why it's bad. It's it's actually bad. Let's go ahead and read this. And this is actually not a scripture, but this is, well, technically, yes, it, it does have a little scripture in there. All right. I found this doing some research and this is from learnreligions.com. And of course, I'm going to find something that is actually conducive to what I'm saying and actually proves a point. All right. Over time, however, burning incense became a stumbling block to God's people as they began to intermingle the practice with the worship of pagan deities and idols. First Kings 22:43, and also Jeremiah 18:15. Even still, the appropriate burning of incense as God had initially commanded continued with the Jews into the New Testament, Luke 1 and 9. And even after the temple was destroyed, today incense remain, remains in use by Christians in Eastern Orthodox, uh, Roman Catholic, and some Lutheran churches, as well as in the emergent church movement. Mainly, excuse me, many denominations reject the practice of burning incense for several reasons. First, the Bible expressly forbids any practice associated with witchcraft, spellcasting, and calling forth spirits of the dead. All right. When I was taught about burning sage or why you should do it or what the purpose of it was, I was taught that it's supposed to cleanse the atmosphere. It's supposed to cleanse the uh, cleanse whatever your living space you're in or smudging or whatever, is supposed to cleanse out bad spirits. In actuality, it is a beacon for spirits, for demonic forces, for demonic spirits to come and wreak havoc in your life. I'll put it this way. And I speak on these topics because these are topics that I've lived. These are topics that I've been through. These are topics that I've overcome and been delivered from. I'm not going to sit here and come before you and talk about something I have not been through or I have no knowledge of because who would want to listen to that? Right. All right. Back when I first met my wife, when we were dating, I had my own apartment. Right. I at the time did not have a walk whatsoever with Christ. I was completely ignorant to a lot of things of the spirit realm. I was ignorant to a lot of things of God. I knew a God existed. I knew of God. I talked to God, but I did not have a walk with God. I did not have a, a genuine, true relationship with God. I thought that burning sage would help me cleanse the atmosphere. I thought it would help me to get rid of demons, get rid of evil spirits, get rid of things that were causing me to have suicidal thoughts, right? In burning the sage, I thought I, I looked up the how to do it, what type of sage to get, all that. I did a whole lot of research on it. So I did it. And then in comes my wife or girlfriend at the time. My wife has the she she has a, a gifting that allows her to see and a lot of people may seem to think that that's crazy but true believers understand that there's a lot of different spiritual giftings that god gives us and seeing is one of those gifts and i'm talking about seeing spirits and demons and it's not something that one would ask for but it's something that is an ability that god gives you and it's for you to know how to fight and defend yourself against these things and also make people aware of the things that not necessarily tell like i see a demon on you no that's not how you go about it but it's for your protection and and it's also for the protection of others but after burning sage or whatever and allowing my then girlfriend now wife at the time to enter in my apartment she saw what she described to me as and of course she couldn't really express this to me at the time because I wasn't even a babe in Christ. I didn't even know. But she basically said it was demons having recess and field day in my apartment. And I'm just like, what are you talking about? I didn't see anything wrong with it because I was ignorant to it. But now understanding the magnitude of what kind of things you invite into your, your, your life, into your spirit, 
by burning sage boy <laughs> when i said it's a beacon for demons it's like hey come here this is where you need to be no it's doing the opposite of what you think it's actually doing listen i pray that you're able to get some understanding from this and i know y'all gonna be in the comment section saying you still gonna burn your sage but hey if that's what you want to do if that's what your belief system is set up on god bless you <laughs> but my belief system my belief system is set up on on christ i believe in the holy trinity and i believe in the bible yes i believe in the bible because a lot of people like to say that oh the bible was written by man oh the bible is wrong and no Yes, the Bible is written by man, but at the same time, I'm saying no because a lot of people like to discredit the Bible because they say it's written by man. No, God gave man the instruction on what to write. And there's also books in the Bible or books that were not a part of the Bible because God wanted us to know. Uh, God wanted, didn't want us to focus on certain books of the Bible. He wanted us to focus on the books, the 66 books that he gave us, right? He didn't want us to focus on the book of Enoch and all those other stories that are not in the Bible. Yes, we can read them, but they're not a part of the gospel, which is the truth. <laughs> the The gospel is the good news, but I don't want to get too far off topic, but Bernie Sage, please just stop because I don't want you to expose yourself to things that, in, especially in your ignorance, Expose yourself to things that are going to hurt you and harm you spiritually and physically. I pray for your deliverance. I pray that this this video has made you aware of the harm you may be causing yourself and others. And I pray that God enters your life and changes those things and removes that desire out of your heart. And if you're doing this with ill intent, then I bind and I rebuke you. Point blank, period. I rebuke you. Because... You know, I stand in Christ. I stand firm in Christ. And I cover this video in the blood of Jesus. And God, I ask that you cover this video in the blood of Jesus. And for those who are meant to hear this, I pray that they find deliverance and I pray that they find peace. Hey, hope this helps. Love you guys. We're getting into it. In Jesus' name, amen. Love y'all. Peace.